to solve this guy. We want to find out what G is. Uh, it might be easier for us to solve if we had an auxiliary line. So I'm going to draw an auxiliary line. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this line parallel to the other two lines. So this line and this line are already parallel. I'm going to make that one also parallel to it. And that will enable me to find this angle right here and this angle right here. If I'm able to find those two angles, I can add them together to find angle G, which is our goal. So um, this line or this angle, uh, you can see is an alternate interior angle to this angle right here. Now for some people, like uh, visually, it would help if you extend this line over and then you could see, uh, oh, this dude right here is a transversal with this dotted line and this line. Okay, so now I can see more easily that these two angles are interior angles. So that means this is 56 right here. Now you should be able to see that also for the other angles. Okay, so um, we should be able to see, you should be able to see that this line and this line, how they're parallel and we have a transversal right there. Uh, that's how that this number right here is gonna enable us to find out what that angle is. Now these angles are on the same side of the transversal, so that means they are same side angles, and because they're inside the parallel lines, then they're same side interior angles. Same side interior angles add up to 180 degrees. So you just need to take the uh, 180 degrees, subtract 144 degrees, uh, and then you get your answer, so that'd be 36 degrees. So this angle right here is 36. Now these two angles both add up to give me G. So to find out what this equals, um, this measure of angle G, I would have to go 36 degrees and I'll have to plus that to or add it to 56. And that's gonna give me my final answer, which is, let's see, six and six, that's 42, so we have 92 degrees. Okay, so that's the measure of that angle. So uh, the point of this um, little video is to show that when we add an auxiliary line, it sometimes can help us find missing angles.